All right, so I've been working on uh, the next release of Dragon OS Focal, and along the way, I've had some people ask questions on YouTube about some programs that are either currently included in there or asking for them to be included. So let's just kind of cover a few things here. Uh, first up, this GR Radium, and uh, the, uh, this is actually running live on a USB stick, uh, so um, I'm still working on the ISO, I haven't uploaded it yet, but this will be uh, Dragon OS Focal R15. But you should be able to do it with what you have now uh, as far as Dragon OS Focal. So, uh, oh, also too, uh, I want to start making some uh, more videos on GNU Radio and specifically with uh, using the uh, Blade RF uh, XA9 that I have to, to do those videos. So, uh, let's take a look at uh, using the Blade RF with GR Iridium. And so, let's see, we need, to, we need to make a couple changes, which I already have. So in the user source GR Iridium examples, you'll see there's a, a few configuration files there. And let's open up the Blade RF one and take a look at some changes that I made. And it took me a little while to figure out uh, what was going on here but the significant uh, addition is the device args here so I reference the blade RF as uh, blade RF equals zero because it's the only one plugged in there I need to use the the bias T and I'm using the one that's uh, internally in the blade RF and you do that with the bias T equals RX and the other key piece here is the AGC mode needing to be in manual I put a gain here of 40 and I blanked out the last two which are not uh, relevant to the uh, micro or the Blade RF you know XA4 XA9 series. I left everything else as is. Save the file and we'll go ahead and exit. So that's uh, that's the first change that we need to make. And I've got these pages pulled up behind here for a reason just to take a look hey what is GR radium it's a radium burst detector and modulator there's been uh, a lot of changes uh, to GR radium but I have kept an older version in Dragon OS Focal for for the moment uh, alright and one other thing that pops out at me here is this uh, user contributor here not Pike so if you have a look on Twitter you can find I'm not Pike there posting uh, some really cool stuff. All right, so uh, because I'm using an older version of GR Iridium, uh, we still need to grep the uh, A uh, OK information. Um, so you'll see that I'm using an older uh, command there, and then I use a uh, an older version of Iridium toolkit to match that. And those two together will get us here in a second to Iridium Live. Now on the uh, Dragon OS for the uh, for Pi 64, uh, there is a newer version of GR Iridium in the Iridium Toolkit. So on the Pi, of course, the directions are going to be a little different, and at the moment won't work with Iridium Live. So I'll I'll do that separately. All right, so. Anyways, we can move these out of the way, and we'll take a look at um, some things that I had already tried out here. So, let's see. If we change into the user source, GR Iridium, uh, folder, examples, wherever you want to run this from, um, you'll change the... Uh, uh, command line accordingly. So I'm going to run the Iridium extractor. Uh, let me see, I've got the Blade RF plugged in and I'm going to output the uh, what it's receiving and I'm going to pump it to home live output 3 dot bits because I've ran this a couple times before and we'll let it run for a while. We'll see it's using the GR Osmo SDR So you should be getting some results, kind of like you see on the screen here. 
and so what you would do is you let that run for uh, you let that run for a while I don't know 10 minutes or so and you'd uh, you'd get uh, uh, quite a bit of received stuff you probably end up 30 40 meg maybe file that's saved all right so this, for the sake of uh, this video though we'll go ahead and stop that so now you'll have that uh, in your home live you'll have those uh, I'll put three dot bits there and let's see let's change into our user source iridium toolkit we'll have a look around in here we want to run let's see might be in my other window here So we want to run the uh, Iridium parser. Oop, there goes my hacker F. And let's see. I always forget what makes uh, this move faster as a control. There we go. So we'll run the Iridium parser on the output th uh, home live output 3.bits and we'll change it into output 3.parsed. That'll go pretty quick. So, And then from there, if we run another tool, let's see. So if we run stats, what was it? Stats dot voke, and we run user home live. I'll put three dot parsed, and I don't imagine we'll see much because I didn't run it very long, so we don't see anything. But if you run it longer, and we'll take a look at another file that I did earlier you're going to get something like this. So a little GNU type window is going to pop up. I've got, uh, let's see, I've got audio here. And so what you'll do is, and you just got to mess with this, you got to click left, just like it says, once left and once right to define an area, the script will play Iridium using the play Iridium uh, shell script. Uh, but, sorry, one other thing that you're going to need to do Let's see. You want to. This is important. Otherwise, the uh, uh, this will not work. So, in the Iridium Toolkit folder, is the um, this play Iridium A and B uh, shell script. And so, we need to export this path just like this. Doing that will work for this uh, this session. Uh, if we uh, log out and uh, log back in or restart, uh, we'll need to do that again. Well, probably more so rebooting. All right, so let's try this. So we click once left, we see the action in the background there, click once right. And let's see, I need to we need to do it within the let's see. One of these. Let's do it within this window where we ran the
So now it's finding uh, what it needs to play the audio, and then from here you just gotta mess around with. So an even better one that I had recorded or uh, had ran uh, longer would be let's see. So there you go. Uh, you can mess around with that, and um, that's for uh, GR Iridium uh, and the Iridium Toolkit, and as far as voice goes. So, all right, let's see. Let's take a look at combining the uh, GR Iridium, the Iridium Toolkit, and... Iridium Live, maybe. Somewhere. Take a look at Iridium Live and what we need to do. There's a uh, line here that shows you what you'll need to run and we'll modify it a little bit. So we'll be inside the Iridium Toolkit folder. Since we're already in the Iridium Toolkit 4, we'll just reference dot forward slash Iridium Parser. We'll also, let's see, we'll take offline off. There we need to reference user source gr dash Iridium examples. Blade RF. Let's see, Iridium Parser, and I had stuck the Python uh, or this UDP for IL, Iridium Live, in the Iridium Toolkit folder, which was different than a previous video. So you're going to want a line like this. Let's see, so we'll run that. And what you're looking for here, we'll let it run for a second. Okay, there you go. You want lines like this. So the 191, 616, 190, you're going to see uh, in between uh, the longer numbers there, you're going to see that. That's the UDP stuff. So let's see. Let's pull open another terminal. Change a new user source, Iridium Live. And normally you wouldn't have to use sudo to run this, but I'm running this live so I find that I do need to run it we'll run Iridium live we'll get the uh, web server up and you could go to local host port uh, 7777 let's see local host 777 you'll get the Iridium live and now you can start to see some of the information on the satellites uh, that we're finding. You can do, uh, you really it's the ring alerts. Uh, and if you, there's a pretty cool uh, YouTube video about what the ring alerts means. Uh, but let's take a look at uh, the live uh, it run in here. And we can see the red dots indicate physical satellite position. Blue dots indicate signal activity and ground vicinity. So we got red dot here. And where's the blue dot? So blue dot down here. 
and you can see the satellites across the top. And you let it run long enough and you get uh, it populated a little bit more here. So that's how to use uh, GR Iridium, the Iridium Toolkit, and Iridium Live all together, in this case, with the Blade RF XA9. So, all right, we've got that covered. Let's see, another thing we'll take a look at that someone had asked uh, was about the LTE uh, cell scanner. So I redid this, and this is how it'll be in the next uh, Dragon OS. So in the LTE cell scanner uh, directory, I've uh, pre-configured it and installed it uh, for the RTL SDR, and then I rebuilt it uh, for the Hacker F. So you'll be able to run it uh, if you wanted to run it with the RTL SDR. You would just use uh, cell search, and uh, that would be looking for the RTL SDR. If you wanted to use it with the Hacker F, you'd have to come to the LTE cell scanner directory and directly uh, call the cell search file with a hacker f on there and let's see let's do a dash s i think would be uh, like a start frequency e6 and so my hacker f that fell earlier is not plugged in if i go ahead and If I go ahead and plug that in, we can see we can use uh, the hacker F, and uh, so you do a, a start and an end on your cell search. All right, uh, let's see what else. Uh, someone had asked about some other uh, uh, FL Digi and another tool, which uh, so I did add to Dragon OS, which was kind of cool. Put another entry uh, under the start menu here, which seems to have moved over. Uh, quite a few um, programs that were uh, already installed in Dragon OS that must have been flagged for Ham. So you'll find uh, you, you'll find some stuff over under Ham Radio that uh, used to be up under other. So that's fine though. That's good. All right. And as far as that, uh, there was uh, some uh, changes that I made to the. Um, RF propagation modeling that's included in here with the signal server. So you should find that a station to station, uh, station plot uh, will work uh, correctly now. And I don't even know, there's a lot of other changes. Uh, SDR++ has been updated. Uh, SDR Angel has been updated. Uh, quite a few things have been, have been added. So I uh, hope to wrap this up and get this out soon. All right. Thank you.